Hello, I'm Lena Nan, Assistant Professor at the 3D Geoinformation Group and the Faculty of Architecture and the Built Environment. Hi, my name is William Coy. I'm an Assistant Professor at the Intelligent Vehicles Group at the 3ME Faculty. Together, we started in 2020 the new Delft AI Lab on 3D Urban Understanding. But why would we need such a cross-faculty research lab? You may have heard promises of self-driving cars transporting us safely from door to door for several years now. Ideally, this should free up travel time and improve traffic safety. And indeed, a lot of progress has been made over the last decade. For example, autonomous driving shuttle buses are already employed on specially prepared routes, such as this last mile solution from Together. Even consumer vehicles on the market have increasing autonomous driving capabilities but they still require human attention. And sometimes intervention. Overall, autonomous door-to-door -door transportation is still very much an open problem, especially in challenging urban environments. Imagine a vehicle driving through a Dutch inner city, such as our group's research vehicle driving through Delft. Here's a video from our vehicle's front-facing camera Dense urban environments are challenging. There are many obstacles around the vehicle, such as pedestrians, cyclists, cars, but also complex infrastructure consisting of buildings, bridges, roads, and sidewalks. Advances in AI and machine learning can nowadays provide impressive 2D visual object detection results. In this video, such visually detected objects are indicated by color bounding boxes. However, the world is not 2D, but three-dimensional. The vehicle needs to understand its surrounding not in terms of pixels, but in meters, in order to safely plan its path through space. Luckily, future vehicles can rely on a multitude of advanced 3D sensors. Apart from vision, vehicles also equipped with lighter laser scanners and high resolution radars. These sensors provide a detailed and accurate 3D point cloud of the vehicle surroundings. Instead of treating this as a 2D vision problem, we should realize that the required data and representation is inherently three-dimensional. For instance, 3D measurements are often used to reconstruct detailed maps of the environment. After such a map has been created, the vehicle can use it to localize itself in the world by comparing its current sensor measurements to the map. This is important in urban environments with large buildings, where GPS is often not reliable. However, the video you're seeing here already hints at several challenges. One, the vehicle should not include dynamic objects in the static map. And two, the map should be robust against seasonal changes, such as snowy roads and trees without leaves. It is therefore important for the system to understand the semantics of the 3D environment. It should not only reconstruct the geometry, but also understand what objects it's seeing. For instance, a tree which can vary through the seasons, sometimes having leaves and sometimes having snowy branches. As these examples have shown, it is necessary to understand the semantics of everything in a 3D environment. Vice versa, 3D measurements can help separate similar object instances and disambiguate what pixels cannot, as shown here in this earlier work of our group. There are still many open challenges though. The underlying machine learning algorithm that you see here still largely relies on 2D image data and 3D information is fused separately in a later stage. But vision is not always reliable, so novel algorithms should process 3D data from LiDAR and radar directly. And learning to detect objects in real-world urban environments requires a lot of training data to cover the many structural variations. Unfortunately, we have less 3D training data than for 2D vision. Could we use other sources of 3D urban data and minimize required data collection and annotation efforts? Luckily, it turns out that creating large semantic representations of 3D urban environments is not only an important topic for researchers of intelligent vehicles. We and the Faculty of Architecture and the Built Environment have also been working with these kinds of urban data. Nowadays, companies and governments in countries all over the world have been collecting massive point clouds or images of the urban environment to facilitate various applications. This video shows a point cloud capturing part of a street, which consists of billions of 3D points. The main challenge is the automatic processing and the interpretation of the large amount of such data. 
in geoinformation and urban planning, such data has to be converted into 3D surface models to visualize them for designing and planning in urban environments. The recent development in photogrammetry and computer vision also enables us to produce visually appealing 3D models of cities, as you can see here. These models look visually impressive. However, they are just a huge number of triangles. What are really useful to real world applications is semantic information. That is what and where the meaning of objects are. For example, the buildings, trees, and roads. We were able to reconstruct accurate and detailed 3D surface models of individual buildings and trees. However, we made the assumption that the individual buildings and trees were segmented out from the massive data. To achieve such segmentation in practice, people have to manually crop the object of interest, which is extremely tedious and time consuming. A lack of intelligent technologies for automatic processing of the data limits the application of our existing techniques for large scale urban environments. The Tio Duft AI Lab on 3D Urban Understanding aims to bridge the gap between the fast accumulation of data and the limited technologies for processing the data. One of our goals is to automate these processes and to make accurate, detailed, and semantic rich 3D models accessible to users. Our research lies at the intersection of 3D geoinformation, computer vision, and machine learning. It is driven and working towards applications in both geoinformation and autonomous driving, such as navigation, scene reconstruction, simulation, solar potential estimation. The developed techniques will result in semantic rich 3D data, which can be consumed by architects, urban planners, civil engineers to enhance their current practices. As a final note, New AI techniques that interpret the 3D urban environment can also enable totally new research directions. For instance, building walls can reflect sounds of unseen cars around corners, as shown in this illustration. Could we detect such hidden traffic early on by learning how urban structures reflect the traffic sounds? How do the sirens of an approaching emergency vehicle echo through streets? As an early demonstration, we equipped our research vehicle with a microphone array on its roof. Through a process called beamforming, the array can be used to create an acoustic image to highlight the direction of sound sources. In the next video from the prototype setup, a yellow spot will indicate the most salient sound source. You will see that the walls reflect the sound of an unseen vehicle approaching from the small alley on the left before it's visible in the camera. By learning the relation between these reflection patterns and the 3D environmental structure, the direction of an oncoming vehicle can be detected and predicted early on. While we have tried this now in only a few types of 3D environments, initial results are already promising. In this video, you can see how our acoustic sensing prototype can classify the reflection patterns to detect an approaching vehicle coming from the left one second before it becomes visible, as indicated by a green arrow pointing left. turns out that the reflection patterns in these streets are different from those in the previous video. Learning the relation between the 3D structures and the most informative patterns will be an ongoing research effort. To summarize, we wanted to show that we should not try to address these tasks individually, but that there are interesting shared challenges even between robotics and geoinformation. The DILAB initiative allows us to combine our strengths and to develop our shared vision with four new PhD students. And many other cross-faculty AI labs are being developed and delved. Check out the TU Delft AI initiative for more information.